The Simon School has had a long distinguished relationship with the consortium and we are very proud of that. The consortium's history goes back to the early 60s and the Simon School was invited to join the consortium in 1968. So there's a heritage and a partnership there that we are incredibly proud of. In addition to dedicated scholarship support for consortium students, consortium members have access access to corporations, access to mentors, access to faculty, access to a network from 15 top business schools that will help shape their business school education as well as their careers into the future. My consortium orientation program was in Dallas and it consisted of a number of events. We had galas, we had uh, very nice dinners, we had uh, speakers who were well known uh, in the corporate world for major, major corporations who, who had given us a lot of insight on um, you know how they became successful, how we can attain success, uh, many things. I think we also had games. We had um, you know great uh, great networking opportunities amongst one another, and we also had a visit to the Frito Lake campus, just outside of Dallas. So it was great to kind of get this insider's perspective on you know what life is like for many people who are executives who have gone through the consortium process. A consortium school applicant can distinguish themselves in the Simon School application process the way any Simon School applicant can. We look for incredibly diverse students, diverse in their background, diverse in their beliefs, diverse in what they want to do, diversity in what they want to do when they finish the Simon School. But common to all of those things is we look for individuals who can exhibit leadership qualities, who can be strategic thinkers, who can add value inside and outside the classroom and can draw upon their previous life experiences, whether they have work experience or not, that's going to add value to themselves, their classmates, and the Simon community. Some of the benefits the consortium had for me were definitely beginning, starting off, even before I was a, a member, was the network that the consortium has. A very strong network of people that are willing to help you. Um, then immediately becoming a member, a few months afterwards, um, we definitely were like kind of dropped into reality and we had to go to OP, which is the orientation program, which I found very helpful. It was um, very overwhelming in a way um, because I felt like I was starting my MBA like five months early, but it was very good because I felt like I was prepared once I got to Simon. I, I kind of had the right mentality and um, we had uh, opportunities to develop our resumes and cover letters and pitch before, well before we got to even enter um, business school. The biggest thing for me was a small student body. Um, you know, tr uh, I went into school with a history of uh, tradition, so the U of R was a natural fit. Uh, big, uh, big engineering school, a lot of things coming out of the school. I had some technical interests, uh, you know, even before I decided to pursue an MBA. So I decided that the U of R was a pretty good you know, place to start. And then once I visited the campus, Simon was a natural sell. I think the value of an MBA lies in the fact that it changes your perspective of the world. It really gives you a new way of looking at things, at everything, um, for businesses to the world in general. I think it really gives you tools that will help you in the future to think strategically and add value to your place of work. Um, whether it's you know that you're getting an MBA to get to the next level in the career that you're in, or to get an MBA to change the direction of your, the career that you're in now. Well, here's how the process works. You apply to the consortium. So it's, it's almost a centralized process and then your information is, is sent on to the member schools that you're applying to. So, you know, essentially you fill out one application and you can apply to up to six member schools. So think about it like this, you're, you're, liter you're literally, excuse me, taking care of six applications through one application process, which is extremely simple. Again, you know, the reference, I think, uh, component of the application is also extremely easy. You know, given my experience uh, with other business schools that I applied to, the process was a lot longer. My references, folks that I used as references, I should say, were, were very kind of tired. Like, okay, Jay, you know, I've, I've done this one now, do this one now, do this one. But with the consortium um, references, it was very simple for them. Absolutely, do your research on each business school. Visit every school you plan to uh, apply to. You know, I've known of some people in the process who have applied to schools and didn't visit, you know, and they were still weighing whether they should attend that school. And it's like, you know, you have to go and get a feel for the school. I think after uh, visiting the school, meet with folks, um, not just faculty, but people who are in the administrative staff, talk to current students, talk to former students if you can, reach out to alumni if you can through the consortium who happen to, obviously, and, and that's a big one. You know, reach out to consortium alums who are at the member schools that you're thinking about applying to. So I think, um, 
you know, what I didn't realize was how willing consortium alums are to help you get information on that particular member school. So I think that's critical as well. I think um, after that, the rest is up to you, you know, self-assess, you know, make your decision based on what's going to be best for you down the road, not so much what's best for you tomorrow. But I think the consortium, obviously, it's a huge resource that you definitely want to know as much as possible about.